good old piano here, boy. Oh, thank you. Well, play us a tune. the sound will be but it should be okay so are you going to sing a song for the crowd oh gosh yes people yeah i will sing a song and everyone asked me that once for sure <laughs> um well it's great just yeah. wonderful to be here with you and see how happy you are here <laughs> Yes, yeah. Hey, David, hi. <laughs> hey, Billy Dorson yeah. from Panama and from Florida. Oh, yes, yeah, Had Bill. Good time. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Hey, say hi to Tess. Hi, Tess. <laughs> How's she going? Yeah, good. I'll uh, email this to Tess. You'll see it on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> story and um, the day before yesterday um, we uh, got a letter that was delivered to the funeral home of Podges right that's my father and it was by Tess from from Ontario oh for God's sake so she's still living yes my God beautiful city of Victoria yeah this is a uh, Frank Mooney who is a the father of the Mooney clan of all of my gosh, so many friends with uh, Jamie and Stephen and Bob and Francis and Colleen and Bill and John and Stella. That's all. That's yeah, all. that's all. You do a better job. <laughs> so Frank, how old are you? 84. 84. And my friend Nellie Hero keeps reminding me that if I start to do anything silly, she said, remember Frank, you're 84 years old. <laughs> 84. And I feel, at times, just 20. Mm -hmm. So ready to go. And how many siblings did you grow up with? In my own family, I had uh, two brothers and one sister. One brother was a priest, Father John. He's still 86 years old and saying Mass every day down in New Brunswick. And my sister Gertrude is... Uh, 82, just two years younger than I, and still in great shape. She was a secretary for the school board down there. So they're still living. George, our, my youngest brother, died before he was 50. Oh. Heart, yeah, in Toronto. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've had a wonderful life. Yeah. Yeah. And then we met the, the O'Donohues. Oh, that yes. Was, that was another clan. <laughs> yes, that's our clan. And the wonderful thing about that is that... Uh, Every one of your guys and gals knew every one of ours and, and, and grew up like that. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a rarity. And you haven't, you haven't lost the connection. I wrote a card for your dad's funeral and typical Frances didn't deliver it. So she finally found out a, a month or two ago and sent it down to your mother. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then I get there and I, I, I find a birthday card to my sister that I gave her to, with a stamp on it and everything else to mail, and she forgot to mail that too. <laughs> That's <laughs> so she has a, she has a pretty good life. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, I got a story for you, Frank, and I'm going to move the camera direction. Okay. and then lost contact her when she was in Vancouver. Where is she now? So in 19, 
I think it was 1998, uh, a lady by the name of Millie brought her to Ontario. I see. And uh, unfortunately, uh, we weren't uh, told about it, and no one could give us any information like you, so uh, we just got uh, the letter that was sent to the funeral home for Podges, uh, like the day before yesterday. So, yes, and yeah, okay. and so Tess is still alive, so say hi, Tess. Yeah, Tess, my God. Yeah. Many, many moons since we saw yeah. you last. Yeah. She was a little saint of her own in her in her own way. Yeah. So tell me more about the the rest of your sisters. Okay. How are they all doing? Yes.